Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this update is going to be back on Tessie's new bedroom. So we haven't been here for a while. Um, if you've been watching the channel, you'll see that we've been away to Florida um, and I've been busy vlogging while we were over there, coming home, doing the editing and things like that. But we're getting closer to D-Day now where we're going to need this other room. So time to pick it back up get on with the decorating of the room, everything's starting to gather pace now, so I thought I'd give you a little update on where we're up to and what's happened. Can't really remember the last video, if I'm honest, because it's been a while since we've done a bedroom um, update on the extension, but as you can see, we've still got plaster on the walls, but just to give you a quick update now on where we're up to, We've now got the bedroom doors in, well, the bathroom door and the bedroom door. So we've got them in white with the black accents. You've got them on the handles and the hinges. I'm seeing over here as well. So we're still in two minds at the minute, whether to keep them white or whether to paint them black. So we've got We'll have the white window there. We've got the black radiator there. As I say, we don't know whether the border will be black as well, but what we do know is that this is gonna be white, the wall in the background, and then it's gonna run right the way on the ceiling, white right the way down there, and then that's gonna be white as well. So, what we're thinking, what we've decided on is this wall and this wall is gonna be pink. So we're deciding what shade of pink we want. And then over here, where as you'll have seen in the previous vlogs, this is where the bed's going. So it's a blush pink headboard that's gonna be there. And then halfway up, we've made a little mark on the wall here. Up to here on the wall, so you can see that little mark there. We're going to have some panelling all along there um, with some, we haven't decided on the shapes yet. We don't know whether to go square or we don't know whether to go rectangle coming down like that. Maybe four rectangles. It's got to be an even number because my OCD won't handle it. And that's going to be pink there. Top half is going to be white and we're going to get Tessie's name in like a neon light there. So hopefully you can imagine what that looks like. Tessie's been up here. We've been doing a bit of painting. There's the four pinks that we've picked out today from b and I don't know which one we're gonna go for. We've only just put them on, so gonna let them dry, come back up tomorrow and yeah. Let's see which one looks better. I mean, that's only against plaster. We'd need the white undercoat first. But we did like this one at first. But now, looking at it, it looks like it's going to be too pink. I mean, that one doesn't look like what it looks like in real life. So from what I can see to what you can see, it doesn't look that pink. But it's a lot pinker than what you can see. But I think I like that one. Which is... So if they're in between these two, I think that's a little bit too soft. So Tessie's said this one straight away, but I think that's a little bit too pink. So it looks like it's gonna be between this one and this one. So this one here, we've got to put the pink pots down here so I don't forget the names. So this one is Raindrops on Roses, some Valspar. Now the next one, this one, didn't actually have a name, it just says category is on it. So we've got the sample card downstairs so I'll be able to get that. Now this one <coughs> is called Pink Icing, again Valspar, they're all Valspar and then this last one is Sea Salt. So they're the four there that we've got to choose from. 
So let me know in the comments what you think colour we should go for. I mean, we'll have probably decided already before you've actually seen this and it'll all be painted. But yeah, let me know what colour you think we should do. And then later on down the line, you'll see what one we actually went for. So let's see if it matches up to which what you think it is. That's it, just a little update. The doors are in, the paint's being picked. Well, we just need to finalise which one it is, but we've got the whites. We've got an idea of which pink we want. So the painter is coming this weekend. So hopefully the next update I've got for you will be to see the room painted. We've also picked out some flooring as well from Longstaffs, which is like a little, uh, well, it's a, it's a business in Liverpool which do some good deals, some good flooring. Flooring sorted, deposit put down on that, but as you know, floors first, uh, walls first, then the floor. I don't know whether I'm gonna do this in between the Florida vlogs or whether I'll do it at the end. I've got 14 days worth of Florida vlogs to go through and edit, so by the time you see this, this room will probably be well and truly finished and Tessie will have been in it for a good, few weeks probably months keep an eye on the channel for more updates oh yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Hello. you're on the vlog now go ahead <laughs> well, this is this is what it looks like now what's it add on the first coat i think no that's it that's two, that's just one coat of the uh, this coat but the ceilings have had the two coats in that now so the ceiling's double coated. And, 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 and the walls, the walls, you can finish the walls, you know what I mean? The ones yeah. you don't want. There we go, looks like a different room already. How bright it is. There's the pink starting around there. It's looking good. We had the painter in yesterday, went to B&Q a couple of nights ago, got some pinks and whites to keep it nice and fresh. It's all done now, so we'll go up and see what it looks like. So we're not doing this bit yet. The landing area. Just going to do the bedroom, so... Let me get up. So all the doors being painted as well. Let's have a look. Here we go. All right. Good job, that is. Pinks on the windows, letting the smell out because it's strong with the Dulux satin wood. But this is it with the light on. Ceiling all done. Oh, yeah, looks good. Happy with that. Next thing now, we've got to get the floor well first, uh, we've got to get that taken off just to get the painting round the back. So that's happening tomorrow, then we'll just give that a little lick of paint white on there. Uh, we've got the panelling as well, it's got some MDF. That's gonna go across here, gonna have like four squares. I might have said that before, I'm not too sure. So we'll have the panelling and it's gonna go up there and then we're getting Tessie's name in neon lights there. So yeah, as we've said, in the past, the bed will be here, uh, facing this way. And then she's gonna have a telly on the wall here. So I'm just in the middle now of measuring up for a telly. Um, there's me tight measure there. So just in the middle of measuring up, I think 42 inches is gonna be just too big. So we'll end up having to have it right up because of the light switch that's in the way for the toilet so 
I think 32 will be just the right height to keep it quite low down as well on the wall. If we go 42 inches, it needs to be higher than there, which then takes you near enough to the top of the ceiling, which we don't really want to do if we've got the bed over here. I mean, it doesn't look that high when you're looking at it from here, but in real life, I think if you're lying on the bed, it's going to look like it's touching the ceiling, which it's not ideal um, for Tessie. So I'm going to start measuring up now, yeah? But um, yeah, great job from Carl. That's me, mate. So that's all. That's all done. I've got a deposit down on the floor. So as soon as this is off and painted behind, I can ring up and get them to come and fit the floor. So yeah, it's all go. Watch this space over the next couple of days. But yeah, happy with that. See, he's done in the bathroom as well. He's done in, on the ceiling. Oh, ceiling's all painted as well now. Well, that's just a beading. That's got to go down. Yeah. Looking good. So, yeah, looking good. So I'll catch it on the next one. Um, hopefully the radiator's been taken off, painted, and we've got a date booked in for the floor. So see you on the next one. Right, here we go. Radiator taken off. There's the space. Time to get to work, start painting that. So there we have it, there's the first layer on, already drying in, I'll come and see what that looks like tomorrow but I'll end up having to give that another little uh, coat I think tomorrow, but yeah, bit of progress tonight. So we've marked out on the wall as well where we want the panelling to go as well, so we're going to have four vertical rectangles there, we were toying with the idea of putting a line through them as well and turn it into eight squares but I think we're gonna stick with the rectangles make it make the room try and look a little bit longer in height going that way so it's a tiny little mark there where the bed's going and then there's another tiny little mark there where we're gonna have the panel and going to show you the progress of that over the next couple of days as well need to get the wood cut downstairs that we've got, get that all cut and brought up. Let's see where we go from there, but that's it for today. See you on the next one. Hello and welcome back. So as you can see, a little bit of an update here. We've now got the panelling up there. So that's thanks to our friends, Steve Turpin, who came and gave us a touch getting that all up. So now the next part of the job is getting this painted and it's gonna be painted the same as this wall here, this pink. As you'll have seen in the previous vlogs, we've said that's gonna be white there and it's gonna have Tessie's name in neon pink. Uh, we don't know whether to leave it pink now, but we're going to get this all painted here, see what it looks like, um, and then if we decide to change it and change it white, then so be it. But for now, it's going to stay pink. So yeah, staying pink. So I thought I'd just give a quick time lapse and show you me painting it. I suppose I'd better do something in this room, I'd nice things everyone else has done stuff. So yeah, um, here we go. Let's have a little... Uh, 
Let's have a laugh at this now. So that is the prepping done. Just a bit of tape there on the outside and along the bottom just to catch so it doesn't go on the skirts. And now, time for getting the pink paint on here. Should be fun. So there you have it, here's the first coat. So we're going to start with the first coat tonight, going to let that dry in and then tomorrow I'm going to come back and get the polyfiller in where the nails have gone in there. So yeah, quite successful, got through that quite fast. Tomorrow, polyfiller, second coat. And then I'll order the floor as well. So it's moving, we're moving on. Let's uh, see what tomorrow brings. Right, so I've now put a bit of filler in where all the pins are. Now, what I'm going to do is sand it down, smooth it all out over where I've put the filler on, and then also give it a bit of cork in between as well so where the gaps are coming through like that and there uh, and then also around the edges get a bit of cork on that and then give it a second layer of paint so let's see what happens with that now let's uh, get sanding go back all being filled in and sand it down and then I've corked all the way round each squares to hide all the gaps between the wood and the wall. Let that dry, that's been on for about an hour now so I'm ready to give it the second paint, second coat. You can see I've started here in this corner but give it a little paint now and then uh, let's see what it looks like in the morning. Ready? Guess what's upstairs? My take, telly. Yeah. Take us up, show us your new telly. Here we go. Lights on. <whistles> Big fella. Should we unbox it? Come on then, let's get it unboxed. So as you can see, the floor's actually been laid. I forgot to vlog it. That was because they actually installed the wrong floor at first. Uh, through no fault of the fitters, it was just packaged up the wrong floor and sent out with them. But next day, he came out and fitted the right floor for us. So absolutely no problems there whatsoever. And I definitely recommend using them and would use them again myself. Right, so we just got the telly set up. Look how slim this fella is. <coughs> Look at that. So as we've said in the previous vlogs, it's going to be going up here. I've plugged it in for now. Just going to give it a little test, see that it works. But yeah, what a telly. It's going to fit nice onto that wall. Cover that there, get the Amazon Fire Stick in there as well. So let's see if this works. Let me switch it on. Oh, this will be why. Right. Have we got any power? So you get this remote with it as well. Solar powered, so no batteries required for this one. And you've got Disney, Netflix, Samsung TV, Prime Video as well. Got the lot on there. 
Zo, wat? Zijn dat is weer? Oh, here we go. Is de volume weer? Moet ik dus ook niet smaak van? Set the screen brightness will change when there's different lighting, so let's have a little look, let's have a test. There you go, that's the telly all set up now. Well, plugged in, it's all working. So, next thing is, is to get it up on the wall, just there. I'll be done in the next couple of days and I'll uh, show you that as well. But for now, see you later.